Hi yogis, and welcome to Honeybee Yoga Studio. My name's Lindsay, and today in our Mindful Movement series, we'll be focusing on our hips and our low spine. We'll be staying really close to our mat, mostly on our spine, and as always, we'll take things nice and slow and let our breath guide our movement. We will come to lying on our spine, moving as slow as we'd like, feeling that long spine on the earth. Let's keep a bend in our knees and heel to our feet a little bit wider than they would naturally fall and let our knees get nice and heavy and support each other, kind of clunking together. Our arms can be wherever's comfortable by our sides, stretching wide. And let's start to drop into our breath, into our practice. Feel your inhales and exhales as they travel down your mouth and expand your chest and your belly. Feel all of those opposite sensations as you exhale. And with every breath, really start to expand your awareness throughout your body. Feel your breath travel to your fingertips and your toes and every area in between. Our next exhale will guide our knees to begin to move kind of like windshield wipers on a car. Our knees falling heavy to one side and then wiping up through neutral and falling heavy to the opposite side. Our breath guiding these movements feeling space through our hips, our thighs, and eventually one of our exhales will pull those knees into our chest, give them a gentle tug. We'll take our hands to hold on to our knees and we'll bring a rotation through our ankles, going in one direction and then allowing them to go in the opposite direction. Another big pull of those knees into our chest and then eventually our right leg will go long and heavy. Using our breath to guide our movement, each exhale we start to encourage that left knee to begin to open to the left side. Our left hand, maybe our left elbow, supports that left knee. As we inhale we feel length. As we exhale, we feel release. Maybe it feels good to support our thigh and press that left heel all the way long, lengthening our leg. Again, letting our breath and our body guide our movements here, doing what feels good. We'll use that left hand to guide our left knee back into our belly. Our right hand now comes to the outside of that left knee and begins to gently tug our left knee over our right hip. Again, our breath guiding our body here. If it feels good, we can kind of pull that left knee further. That left hip may stack on top of our right hip. Only moving as far as your body says it's okay to. A couple breaths here before we gently allow our body to come back to neutral. That right hip comes back to the earth, hug both of our knees into our chest. And then we'll slowly begin to move to the opposite side. That left leg this time lengthening, left heel heavy in the floor, hugging that right knee into our belly or chest and then eventually releasing that right knee to the right side using our right hand, maybe our right elbow for support. Hanging out here for a few breaths, maybe lengthening that right heel, that long right leg. Feeling your breath travel all the way to your right toes, your left toes. As we exhale, we'll begin to bring that right knee back 
to neutral. Our left hand will come to the outside of our right knee and we'll begin to gently guide that right knee over our left hip. Again, you can let that left knee come over as far as your body allows, only moving as far as feels good for you. And then see what your breath has to say with your body in this position. Long breath, slow and controlled. Your next exhale, that right hip comes back to the earth. We'll pull that right knee into our chest, followed by our left. Using our hands on opposite knees or shins, we'll make gentle hip circles. Then we'll begin to guide those knees towards our chest. The soles of our feet high five the sky. Coming into our version of happy baby, our hands reach to the outside of our feet or maybe to behind our knees or our calves. In our version of happy baby, we're feeling our belly and our chest inflate with our breath, maybe pressing against our thighs. Maybe we're taking a gentle rock, giving our low spine a massage. And then with our next exhale, we'll release our hands from our legs and allow those knees to fall to the left side. Coming into our version of a supine twist, our left hand may gently rest atop that right knee. Our gaze may come to the right side. Feeling that rotation through our spine, we have long breaths traveling from the base of our neck all the way to our tailbone. Using one of our next exhales, we'll begin to lift our knees back through neutral and allow them to fall to the opposite side. This time that right hand may rest atop our left knee, our gaze may come out our left arm to our left fingertips. And let's see how our spine feels on this side. Feeling your breath travel, finding any tension and encouraging your exhale to release that tension. One more big breath here. Feel it travel to your fingertips, to your toes. And then as you exhale, we'll bring our knees back through neutral, stacking above our hips. The soles of our feet will come to the earth and maybe we'll shimmy them a little bit closer to our sit bones than we usually would. Those arms reach tall above our head as we take an inhale and then we'll exhale lifting our hips. Feeling the weight come through our heels and our shoulders as we inhale and then exhale to lower. We'll come back up through our version of bridge two more times, letting our breath guide the way, lifting with our exhale, pressing through our heels, inhaling those hips high, and then exhaling them back to the earth. Let's do that one more time. Exhaling, pressing our heels into the earth, lifting our hips. This time as we inhale, maybe those fingertips reach all the way up to the sky. And then as we exhale, we'll release our hands and our hips slow and steady back to the earth. Enjoying one breath here, and as you exhale, those knees falling to one side. Coming on to your side to gently lift. And we will meet together in our version of tabletop, shoulders above our hands, hips above our knees. And let's move through a few rounds of cat-cow at our own pace, allowing our breath to guide us. As you exhale into that angry cat, your spine reaches up to the ceiling. As you inhale in your happy little cow, your belly button reaches to the floor. 
In your angry cat, you're really pressing through those hands and knees, feeling the earth press away from you. And in your happy little cow, you're almost pulling the earth, your hands towards your knees as your chest and your heart opens in front of you. Moving at your own pace here, maybe holding in your cat or your cow for a couple breaths, really enjoying that breath, traveling through your body in these shapes. Let's enjoy two more breaths wherever we are. And then when we're ready, we'll begin to extend our right leg to the side, kind of like a kickstand. We'll begin to walk our hands towards our body. And as you inhale, let's lift our fingertips up to the sky. And as you exhale, we'll release that right hand down our right leg, left fingertips reaching to the right side. Long breaths here, feeling that left side body expand. And on your next exhale, we'll bring our gaze towards that right foot. That left hand comes on to the floor. We'll begin to spider walk our hands left over right, right over left, until our left hand comes somewhere beside our left knee and those right fingertips begin to reach up towards the sky. Exhale, reaching our right hand all the way over our head. Feeling that long line from our right toes to our right fingertips. And that next exhale brings our right hand back to the earth. Walking back to our neutral tabletop. And then eventually extending our left leg to the left side. Walking those fingertips back up towards our body one more time, we'll reach our fingertips tall. And as we exhale, let's release our left hand down our left leg. That right hand reaches to the left side. Long breaths, this time feeling all that opening through your right side body. Our next exhale brings our gaze and our right hand towards that left foot. And then we'll walk those hands all the way to the opposite side until our right hand is somewhere beside that right knee. And then those left fingertips trace all the way up our arm, our chest until they reach all the way up to the sky. Maybe reaching those fingertips all the way above our head, feeling all that length from our left toes to our left fingertips. Long breath here. Feeling that entire length of your spine and as you exhale, let's bring that left hand back to the earth, walking those hands underneath our shoulders. We'll bring that knee back underneath our hip. Enjoy a long breath in our neutral tabletop. And then eventually we'll allow our hips to swing behind us so that we can come to seated. Reaching our legs long in front of us, we'll let them come nice and wide. As wide as feels comfortable for us, our toes reaching up to the sky. Let's feel those sit bones heavy in the earth with a few grounding breaths. When you're ready, we'll inhale our fingertips, reaching them tall, followed by our gaze. Exhaling our hands, let's let them come to the earth in front of us. And then we'll let our exhale guide our movements. We'll begin to walk our hands forward with each exhale, releasing some tension through our hips, our groin, our inner thighs. We're keeping our inhale strong. The crown of our head reaches forward. Our toes continue to reach. And we release tension with that exhale. Let's take one more big breath here. Let that breath travel all the way to your fingertips and toes. 
And then let's walk those hands back towards our hips. We'll let them come behind us so we can cross our legs in front of us. Closing our practice in whatever seated posture feels great for us. Let's take several long breaths here. Feeling our shoulders, our elbows, and our wrists, our hips, our knees, and our ankles. Feel your fingertips float down to the earth. Feel the earth press back against your fingertips, your feet, your sits bones. Feel the crown of your head reach up to the sky and allow your next inhale to bring your fingertips to start to also reach up to the sky. As you exhale, allow your hands to gently fall back towards the earth, nice and wide. One last big inhale, reach those hands all the way tall. Coming into prayer, we'll feel our hands melt down right in front of our hearts. We'll close our practice with one last big breath. <sighs> Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you feel a great connection with your breath and your body. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you comment below. Maybe consider subscribing and give us a thumbs up. See you guys next time.